Hello, my name is Bhante Sabuti, and I would like to speak with you about the mantra of loving kindness. Now, a mantra is often used in Hinduism or Hindu meditation, but it, in English it means a word that you repeat over and over again, which, which came from Hindu roots. In Theravada, we don't usually use this word, but we do have words that are repeated over and over again, phrases or or words. In, in the case of loving-kindness, they are phrases. Uh, even with breath meditation, we tell people to count the breaths again and again and again. Uh, there are other meditations where we focus on light or we focus on the color white or blue or yellow or red or the earth, water, fire, and air. And so there's, a, there's usually a word that describes what you want to do with the mind, how you want to direct the mind, and then uh, you repeat that over and over and over and over again. And so in English, this means mantra. Mantra, sometimes we have corporate mantras or whatever. So it's a word that's repeated over and over again or a phrase that is repeated over and over again. There are four phrases in loving kindness. So you don't know what these mean, um, but uh, they, um, they uh, can be translated into various things. Uh, it might be a little different from what I say, but may be free from anger or hostility, may be safe. This is the first one. It's very wide because it's, it's anger directed towards you or... Uh, coming out of you. Then, uh, so may you be free from danger, may you be safe, may you be free from hostility, may you be free from anger. So the second phrase also changes, but um, it means may you be free from mental trouble or worry or uh, anxiety. May you be f in the, sec the third phrase is may you be free from physical trouble. And the last phrase is sort of a general of all the other phrases, may you be well and happy. So we could just say, may you be happy for the last phrase. And we're going to focus on the last phrase because it's, it's simple. You don't have to decide which one you're going to do. We're going to do the last phrase. May you be happy. It's very, very general. There are four different types of people that traditionally we wish loving kindness for. Uh, actually, we always do the whole world, infinite world. But, uh, but it's usually a step-by-step -step process. First, you start with yourself. Then you start with a respected person. And then you go to a neutral person, and then you go to a, um, a disliked person. And so generally, uh, you, you should be able to love yourself before you can love others. This is a general, a general meme that we have. And uh, so you start with yourself. Then it's easiest to, respect, uh, to give loving kindness to a respected person. And uh, so we usually tell people to practice on this. And then we go to a neutral person, which is a little more neutral and still try to have loving kindness towards that. And, and then lastly, we do the um, disliked person who it might be difficult for you to wish someone that you don't like uh, or someone who doesn't like you to be happy. But you should. You should always wish everyone to be happy. It's very, it's very important. So... Uh, uh, actually, what you what you do is you can uh, you can start with yourself. You can take that person, the respected person, and then you can expand uh, to uh, to the area around your compound or your village, or your and then you expand uh, to all the beings within that area. At the, first, the people, then then the beings, all the different animals and insects in the air, on the land, and in the water. And uh, so then, um, actually, it's, it's uh, on the land, in, uh, in the water, and in the air is the usual order. And then, um, and, and then you ex expand to the whole state, and the province, and the whole country, and then to the whole world. And then lastly, what you do is you take those, um, you think you're doing the whole world, but you're excluding those people that you don't like or those beings you don't like. And so you make an extra effort to specifically remember those uh, people that you don't like because your your mind is very soft and you're and it's sort of like Christmas time. You just 
you're just so happy and so loving that even your 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 enemy comes and you want to you want to give him a gift to or wish him Merry Christmas or or whatever. So um, actually, we don't have Christmas in in Theravada Buddhism, but anyways. Uh, in America, people have that, that spirit, that loving-kindness spirit. So your mind is very soft, you're doing the whole world, and then you do the uh, disliked person. It's usually easier at that stage. So what I'd like you to do is just focus on, on two subjects uh, at the very beginning stage, because this is a, a very beginning lesson. So what you do is you just say, may I be happy, may I be happy, may I be happy, may I be happy. When do you stop saying, may I be happy? Actually, you don't stop saying, may I be happy. You want to do it until your timer goes off. Well, what, what time should you set for yourself? Well, it depends. I want you to do this every day. So if you only have five minutes, do five minutes. If you have 10 minutes, this is better. 10 minutes is better than five minutes. 20 minutes is better than 10 minutes and 30 minutes is better than 20 minutes and one hour is better than a half hour so uh, and and so forth so you can you can set your timer um, if it's the first time you do it just do it for a short time and then gradually increase it when you when you do it for yourself especially in the beginning um, just do it for yourself in the second uh, part you can the next time you do it you can try it for uh, a respected person now, when you do it for people, especially in the beginning, it should be a person who is gender neutral, someone you're not sexually attracted to. And the, the next thing would be that they are living there and people that you have met in the flesh. You have, you have actually met them at one time because you want to remember them, you want to visualize them. When you do yourself, you can visualize yourself either in your position or out in front of you. It depends on whatever is easiest for yourself. If you can't visualize, don't worry. Just, just think of that person. May, may you be happy. May you be happy. May you be happy. May you be happy. Or whatever. If you want to say their, their name, you know, uh, you, can, you can do that. May dad be happy. Usually you can pick a parent for a respected person or you can pick a teacher uh, whatever it is, as long as you've met that person and they're still living and uh, it, you're not, it's impossible for you to be sexually attracted to that person, then it is, um, it is a suitable person to do and someone that's easy to generate loving kindness to wish that person to be well and happy when you say the phrase, may you be happy, may you be happy, may you be happy. So how fast should you do it? I'm saying it very fast because I'm trying to make this video short. May you be happy, may you be happy. <laughs> so, um, but you want to do it in a, in, a, in a rhythm that one, occupies your mind, and another one that is, is comfortable and relaxing, that focuses your mind and that is comfortable. So it depends, you know, you can just, you can just say, um, may I be happy may I be happy. So you can, you can do things um, however is comfortable for yourself. It's very important to be comfortable. Should you do it in the lying down posture, the sitting posture, the standing posture, or the walking posture? Actually, we say all postures are good. Actually, you can have a formal meditation time, but you know, sometimes you can just be walking and you could be like, hey, I'm going to practice this loving kindness. I'm going to wish everyone I see, may you be happy. Of course, you don't want to say that uh, verbally. You want to just say it mentally in your mind. Uh, and people still think you're crazy because you're, you're smiling all the time. But it doesn't matter because nowadays people are wearing masks and they won't be able to tell if you're smiling. So that's, a, <laughs> that's one of the, the benefits of... Uh, of wearing a mask, people won't be able to see that you're smiling. It's really sad, actually, that that if you're smiling, you're <laughs> you're not normal. So um, you can, whenever you're walking, you can walk outside. You can you can walk inside your house, and you can just try to have that mindfulness. Hey, I'm not doing anything. Why don't I just wish myself or other people to be happy? It's it's actually very. <laughs> It's, it's so simple, it's so logical, and it's so wonderful. And so I hope that you can do that. Set a timer. It's very important to set a timer. Your telephone has a standard timer. I've tried all the timers. 
my, the standard timer on my telephone is the best. You just all you do is you, you you click on the clock and you'll see that it has a time it has a clock, a world clock, a uh, stopwatch, and a timer. This is usually the the best. Set it to five minutes, set it to ten minutes, whatever. Um, but set a timer and don't stop until that timer goes off. I wish you well. Please try this just for five minutes. Uh, it's best to try it for like 10, 20 minutes or 30 minutes or even an hour. But just just try it. Just try it. Uh, start slowly and, uh, and see the results and actually leave a comment. Uh, so I wish you the best and I hope that you can, can try this very simple and uh, wonderful loving kindness meditation, the mantra of loving kindness. So... May you be well and may you be happy. <laughs>